These notes are on the ready for 1.1, and there are two parts to this ready. The first part is talking about solutions to an equation. So solutions, one or more, to an equation um, are the values of the variable that make the equation true. So we're going to look at two examples of this. The first example is, is x equals 8 a solution to the equation negative 2x equals negative 16. And we want to find out if I plug in 8 into x, does, this, does that make this a true statement? So I do exactly that. I replace the x in my equation with 8. I'm going to use a little question mark over that equal sign because that's what I'm trying to determine if it is indeed equal. And then I simplify, negative 2 times 8 is negative 16, and that does equal 16. So we say this is true. So we say x equals 8 is a solution to negative 2x equals negative 16. Example 2. Example 2 is a equals 4 a solution to negative a plus 1 equals 5. So again, I want to know if I put 4 in for a, do I get a true statement? Do I get a statement that says 5 equals 5? So my equation says the negative of whatever my a is plus 1 equals 5. And I simplify the left-hand side. Negative 4, sorry, the negative of positive 4 is negative 4. And then, and again, those question marks, because that's what I'm trying to find out. Um, negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3, and it does not equal 5. So we say a equals 4 is not a solution to negative a plus 1 equals 5. The second part of this ready is asking you to find the y value. So finding the y value in an ordered pair Um, when given an x value. So um, two things here. We need to remember that ordered pairs are written as x comma y. And then um, we should do a few examples. So let's look at so examples. One, um, determine the y value of the ordered pair or the equation y equals x plus 9, and the point where x is 5. So I have two variables here, an x and a y, but they give me one right here. This variable right here is the x. What I need to find is the y. So I'm going to plug the 5 in for the x. Simplify. And now I can write my answer as that lovely ordered pair. So 5 comma 14. Example 2. Determine the y value of ordered pair 
for the equation y equals one-half x minus eight and the point negative ten comma the y value. So again, um, they give me an x value and so I want to substitute that in. So y equals one-half times negative ten minus eight. I'm going to simplify this. One-half of negative ten is negative five still have my minus 8, and then negative 5 minus 8 is negative 13. So my ordered pair, my point, is negative 10 comma negative 13.